what do you get with video when it comes to customer stories that you don't get in, you know, other mediums? Sure. So, I mean, obviously with video, you can still see the person, right? Even if it's a nicely produced, a high quality video with B-roll uh, uh, and graphics, et cetera, you're still hearing from that person directly. And I think that's the most important part, right? Is that, you know, written case studies are fine, but it, it's really static on a page. Uh, I think the beauty of video is that it does allow you to create a single asset. It tells a story. You can bring energy into it through music and, and other graphics, but what it also gives you is something that is a really great core asset that can then be repurposed across so many different platforms, right? So it's interesting now, I know the guidance for doing like a, a customer video is 90 seconds to two minutes at the most, right? But that doesn't mean to say you can't then use it as a 15 second promo for a webinar or that you can incorporate it as part of a nurture flow for your demand campaign where you take like a 30 second uh, soundbite. The other thing that we've been doing a lot with video is asking similar questions to a variety different customers and then really looking at compilation videos around key areas that we know that prospects are particularly interested in right around key pain points that's been super valuable as well because it, what it allows you to do is to get different talking heads all talking about a common issue a common pain point that we believe resonate best with prospects and can help the sales team and bring some outside voices, bring some fresh perspective to help accelerate that conversation. That's such a good tip around compilations. They can just deliver a lot of social proof, a lot of truthiness and trustworthiness really quickly. Even in like a 60 second video with five people, it's just like, boom, like awesome social proof. We're completely operating in a much more interconnected and global world. So the reason I also like compilations is it allows you to reflect a much broader and diverse group of customers as well, right? So when we think about an asset for global, having a more diversity, I think is really important too.